what's happening with the rest of the people who are neither using full nodes nor Tor to broadcast their transaction. So there is a server for your wallet provider, and then you give the transaction to them. They know exactly your IP address, and that's not a very private way to broadcast your transaction. If I would ask you how much money do you have, you would feel very uncomfortable by these questions, but they know exactly how much money you have because there are no guarantees. They are not trying to protect you against themselves. So this is the problem with broadcasting transactions. And uh, one good enough solution, what we have right now, we store Tor is an anonymity network. So you are hiding your IP address with Tor, which is a good way to broadcast your transactions. Uh, if you're using Bitcoin Core, well, you still want to use Tor to broadcast your transactions, but it gets a bit uh, complicated because then you are also listening to transactions and you are forwarding other people's transactions, so it's harder to figure out that uh, what transaction is yours, so that's not that bad. Uh, but the best way we could do this is actually with Dandelion. Dandelion is a broadcasting protocol which acts in a way that first you are broadcasting to one person and then that to one person and that to one person and there is a probability that it goes into a second phase when they are broadcasting to two, to two, to two and then there is a probability to broadcast it to everyone in the network. And that's a great way because if you get a transaction from somewhere in the first phase of Dandelion, you're, you don't know if, is that the first guy who was broadcasting a transaction or the sixth or, or, so you broadcast your transactions privately. This is one of the network level thing. The other big question of the network level is, so few people know about this, but, you know, you have a Bitcoin wallet and you have Bitcoin addresses. And if you're not using a full node, then how do you know that you have this, money, this much money in your wallet? How do you know which UTXOs do you want to spend in the, in the transaction when you want to send other people money? Well, you just ask your wallet service provider. You send a, you send a query that, hey, I have this, this and this and this addresses, or even worse, your ex pop key and then they know exactly your wallet content, how much money you have, whatever you ever done in your life with Bitcoin on that wallet. And it is of course tied to your IP address if you are not using Tor, so, so, so that's a huge, huge problem with light wallets today. Why is not a problem with a full node like Bitcoin Core? It's because Bitcoin Core is downloads every transaction from the blockchain. So how do they know that how much money you have? You just, just check it on your hard drive and you will know. Uh, what do we do with Wasabi? I'm a Wasabi developer. And in Wasabi, we are doing, in, <laughs> we are using Neutrino filters, <laughs> which has many, many names. Uh, BIP157, BIP150, no, BIP158, BIP159, uh, client side filtering. Um, these things might be familiar to you. The basic idea is that uh, there is a server and the server builds a filter table. That filter table is being synchronized by all the clients. That's a, that's a constant thing. And Based on that filter table, you can figure out which transaction, which blocks you are interested in. And then you're fetching the blocks from Bitcoin full nodes, one full node at a time over Tor, over new sort circuit. And then from the blocks, you can figure out which transactions you are interested in. So it's not perfect like what a Bitcoin full node does, but it's really hard to attack this. So, network level privacy is broadcasting and establishing your UTXO set. This is kind of like already solved. 
So you don't need to give any, make any changes to Bitcoin protocol.